Okay, so hello and welcome class. Um, last time we have discussed about uh, properties of fluid, the concepts, the formulas, and the units. And today we are going to have examples. So, but before that, let us have a recap on what we have discussed last time on the properties of uh, fluid. So the properties of fluid, first we have the weight. So the weight is the Earth's gravitational pull. So what, what we need is the formula from the force or the Newton's uh, law of force. We have uh, F is equal to mass times acceleration. Hence, Weight is a unit force. We just replace F by W. So we copy the mass. And uh, we use the acceleration due to gravity since we are talking about the Earth's gravitational pull. So all of this weight will be going downwards vertically. At alam natin na yung Earth, uh, acceleration due to gravity in uh, SI units is equal to 9.81 meter per second squared. So, ito yung SI units. And it is equal to 32.2 feet per second squared in English units. Now, let us investigate further the units in SI muna. No? Kapag yung weight, in terms of SI, that will be equal to Newton. And the mass will be in terms of kilogram. At ito, 9.81 uh, 9 meter per second squared or acceleration. So, this is in SI units. While in that of English unit, we have weight is in terms of pounds. Okay. And this is equal to slugs times feet per second squared. Again, ito yung English units. So, therefore, Kung nasa may mass ka, times mo lang yun sa acceleration due to gravity, that would become Newton. So ngayon, if we are concerned with um, conversion of Newton to kilogram, just divide yung force dun sa acceleration due to gravity. Likewise sa English, kapag yung pounds, dinivide mo ng feet per second squared, magiging slugs yun. Okay? So, again, kapag yung Newton, dinivide mo sa meter per second squared or acceleration due to gravity, magiging kilogram yan. And then, uh, kapag yung pounds, dinivide mo sa feet per second squared, magiging slugs yan or the, the unit of mass in. English system. So, moving on to the second property of fluid, we have here the unit weight. So, just remember that the unit weight is just um, the weight contained in a unit volume. And it is denoted by gamma. So, yung gamma is just equal to weight all over volume so in in terms of uh, s or si units we have yung weight is newton yung volume is in cubic meter so pwede rin na kilo newton per cubic meter okay so in english we have Pounds per cubic feet, okay, or what we call PCF. Okay, so that's about for the unit weight. So, yung pangatlo, we have the density, and this must be in terms of rho. 
So, anong pinagkaiba ng gamma or unit weight with that of the density? So, ang kaibahan lang nila, imbis na weight to, magiging mass yan. Okay? So, if we write the formula here, rho is equal to mass all over volume. ba? Diba? So, kapag sa SI units, that will be kilogram per cubic meter. Kapag English naman siya, that is pounds per cube. Sorry. Slugs. Slugs per cubic feet. So, ngayon, kung titignan natin, paano mo gagawing rho ang unit weight. So, sabi natin kanina, it is just within the relationship of weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Kasi nga, itong W, W is um, is becoming mass kapag in terms of density siya. So, paano mo makoconvert yung W or or yung newton sa kilogram. Sabi natin kanina, yung newton, pag dinibide mo ng acceleration due to gravity, magiging mass siya. Okay? Ito naman, yung mass na to, kapag dinivide mo, or pag minultiply mo sa acceleration due to gravity, either 9.81 kapag SI, or 32.2 pag English, magiging unit weight siya. So, therefore, if we investigate the relationship between the unit weight and the density, say, uh, from gamma, weight can be written as mass times acceleration due to gravity. Okay? And here, Mass over volume, yan o. Mass all over volume, okay, is actually the density. So, therefore, the relationship between gamma and rho, or unit weight to that of the rho, so, gamma is equal to rho times g. Yan nga, yan o. Uh, I think uh, we do not need to memorize itong formula as long as we are familiar with the unit. Ano? Kasi yung kilogram, paano ko gagawin newton ng kilogram? Times mo lang yan sa 9.81. Okay? So, that is why rho times acceleration due to gravity. Ngayon, in terms of English naman, paano ko gagawin unit weight ang slugs per cubic feet? So, slugs, multiply mo lang ng 32.2, magiging pounds na yun. Okay? So, uh, in the end, magiging pound per cubic feet or PCF in English. So, again, uh, here we do not need really to memorize formula as long as we, as we are familiar with the units, hindi tayo mawawala dito. Okay? So, moving on. The next, we have specific gravity. So, this is denoted by small letter S. So, we have uh, said that in the previous session that this is the dimensionless ratio of gamma to the gamma of the standard substance. Yan. And or the rho to the rho of the standard substance. Yan. So, if we are going to multiply this relationship, ano? this uh, relationship, and then S will be paired to the right-hand side of the equation, pwede nating sabihin na yung gamma, gamma is equal to specific gravity times gamma of the standard substance. Okay. So, anong use nito? Yung S, meron tayong specific gravity for any substance, any solid material, or even gas. Ano? So, kapag alam natin to, 
multiply mo yan lang yan sa standard substance na gamma, yun na yun. Okay? And then, um, likewise, rho is equal to specific gravity times, uh, sorry, rho, specific gravity times rho of the standard substance. Okay? So, ano ba yung standard substance? Meron tayong standard substance sa solids and liquids. Ito yung actually yung fresh water. And when we say fresh water, this is actually pure water. Um, in a way that uh, there are no impurities. So, remember that fresh water is different to that of the sea water kasi sea water has uh, uh, salt content, right? And then, uh, uh, actually, habang may mga impurities sa tubig, uh, bumibigat yung kanyang unit weight, pati yung specific gravity. So, the standard substance here is referring to pure water, no? Uh, let us say this is at 4 degrees Celsius temperature. Kasi we have mentioned last time na yung pressure at temperature would tend to affect the, the weight and the intermolecular attractions of our uh, substance. Ano? Okay, habang pinapainit mo, naghihiwalay yung mga molecules. Okay, so the tendency there, nag expand yung volume, pero ganun pa rin yung mass niya, kaya gumagaan. Okay, ngayon, kapag yung pressure naman, mataas yung pressure, of course, it will compress the intermolecular attraction so that it will, it will uh, affect or uh, mag, ma, mas bumibigat bumibigat kasi nga nako-compress, di ba yung pressure? Pressure is pag ganun, no? Okay, while well, expansion is pag ganun. Okay? So if we have pressure, kino-compact niya yung uh, molecules that tends to to uh, bumibigat yung ating substance. So that is the concept about temperature and pressure with regards to the substance. So, medyo humaba na tayo. Gamma S here, the standard substance is water, ano? This is equal to 9,810 9,810 Newton per cubic meter. So, kung gusto natin i-convert yan, let us convert that one into um, English system or English units. So, paano natin gagawin yan? Of course, isa-isain natin. So, yung Newton, paano, mo magig, paano magiging Newton to? Gawin mo muna siyang density. No? Paano mo gagawing density yan? Itong Newton. So, anong sabi natin? Just divide this by? Divide it by 9.81, di ba? So, i-divide natin to yung Newton, i-divide natin sa 9.81 or acceleration due to gravity. Okay? So, if we do that, magiging 1,000 kg per, per cubic meter. Okay? So, ano, anong, unit, anong unit na to class? So, itong unit na to is actually the rho. Okay? So, rho of standard substance, water, that is equal to 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. So, ito yung tandaan natin na itong newton per cubic meter cannot be directly converted into gamma sa English system. Kasi nga, yung kilogram has, has, a direct, has a direct relationship to pounds, right? Diba? Pero yung newton, wala siyang direct 
relationship dun sa pounds kasi we are aiming for pounds di ba sa sa ano sa English system so let us recall that one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds so applying that conversion factor no so 1000 kilogram per cubic meter density yan, ano i-apply natin to no 1 kilogram that is equal to 2.2 pounds okay so what will happen cancel yung kilogram so ang naiwan pounds per cubic meter so remember ang unit na, sa english dapat nakafit yan okay so therefore let us use another conversion factor na yung 1 meter is equivalent to 3.28 feet but we are in terms of the third degree so therefore we're gonna um, raise this to 3 okay so 3.28 cube they value yung 1 magiging ano lang yan so distribute yung cubic meter on all of the terms so if you can see now pwede na nating makancel yung cubic meter and then execute uh, the numerical values here or the operations we can we will come up with 62.34 ang naiwang unit is pounds per cubic feet so ito yung standard substance ng tubig or the uh, or the gamma of water in terms of english ano Hence, therefore, ito is equal to yun, 62.34 pounds per cubic feet. Ito yung sa SI at ito yung sa English. English units. Okay? So again, this is only applicable to solids and liquids. So what about dun naman sa gas? For gas elements, we have the standard substance is actually hydrogen at 0 degrees Celsius. So anong value nito? We have 12.7 Newton per cubic meters. So, kung mapapansin natin itong value na to class. To 12.7. Malayo siya doon, libo yun eh, 9810. So, ganong kagaan yung standard substance ng gas. Okay? At yung density nito, we just divide it by 9.81 magiging 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. So, all of these are in terms of ano, no? um, SI units to. No? Both are in SI units. No. So, if you want to to convert that into uh, English system, ang gagawin mo lang is uh, multiply it by 2.2 and then divide it by 3.28 cube. Let's say uh, in English, no? 12.7 multiply lang natin ng 2.2. I-divide lang natin ng 3.28 cube. Okay, that is gamma of the standard substance for gas. We have 0 0.792 pounds per cubic feet. So, ngayon, kung gusto mong gawing density yan, anong gagawin mo? Divide this by 32.2. Diba? And that will result to 0 0.0245 slugs per cubic feet. Okay? So, yun. So, now that we know all of the standard substance, basta specific gravity, tandaan nyo na may standard substance sa solids and liquids may water. 
this is the values okay these are the values for gas hydrogen at zero degrees these are the values also in english and in si units okay so moving on to another property of fluid we have here specific volume no so in specific volume small letter v yan okay so small letter v is equal to 1 all over rho ibig sabihin i-reciprocate mo lang yung density yun na yung kanyang specific volume and remember uh, density is equal to mass over volume so balik tarin mo lang yun volume all over mass okay so for the units kapag volume that is in cubic meter kapag SI mass is in kilogram or in English in English naman this is cubic feet per slugs okay so that's about the properties of fluid so pwede na tayong uh, pumunta sa example okay Say for the first example we have here, a reservoir of glycerin has a mass of 1,200 kilograms and a volume of 0.952 cubic meter. We are going to find the glycerin's weight, mass density, specific weight, and specific gravity. So, let's do it. So, for letter E, we just apply this. Weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. Hence, we have weight is equal to 1,200 times 9.81. That will give us 11,772 newton. Okay? For letter B, we have rho is equal to mass all over volume. We have 1,200 divided by 0 0.952. And that will give us 1,260.5 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay? So, for letter C, we have gamma. So, remember, ang unit ng gamma is newton per cubic meter. Ngayon, meron na tayong given or known na quantity kilogram per cubic meter at yung kilogram paano magiging newton just multiply that by 9.81 hence gamma here is equal to rho times g as established a while ago pero pag pag hindi niyo masyadong ano to basta alam niyo lang yung unit yun newton per cubic meter kilogram gawin mong newton Multiply mo lang ng 9.81. So, therefore, we have 1,260.5 times 9.81. We have the gamma to be equal to 12,365.55 newton per cubic meter. Okay, so that's about the unit weight. So, ano pa? We have here specific gravity, letter D, S, is equal to the gamma all over the gamma of the standard substance. Hence, ang glycerin is classified as liquid, right? Paano ba ma madidistinguish kung liquid or gas? Tingnan mo na lang yun sa gamma. So, kung ito, libo yan, di ba? Kanina, sabi natin yung uh, unit weight ng gas, which is hydrogen, 12.7 lang. Compared to that of the water, 9,810. So, meaning, kapag liquid or solids, definitely, libo ang value ng kanyang gamma. So, in here, we identify that glycerin is a liquid. Hence, our standard substance is 9,810. So, therefore, S is equal to the value of what we have computed. Divided by 9,810, which is the gamma for water. 
which is the standard substance for solids and liquids. Hence, we have a value of 1.26 for our specific gravity. Now, ito walang unit yan, ano? Kasi makakancel lang yung unit on both numerator and the, the, the denominator. So, one of the uh, practical interpretation also ng S, ano? Makikita mo sa S kung ano bang mas mabigat. Tubig or yung glycerin. Okay? So, kitang-kita na yung gamma is mataas kaysa sa tubig. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, lulutang yung tubig dun sa glycerin. Okay? Hence, yung S niya is more than 1. Ito, 1.26. Ibig sabihin, lulutang ang glycerin, ah, lutang ang tubig sa glycerin kapag pinaghalo mo sila. Okay? So, ngayon, ang question natin, ano naman yung uh, specific gravity ng tubig? Of course, ang gamma ng tubig is 9,810 divided by the gamma of itself kasi nga, standard substance siya. So, therefore, gamma ng tubig is 1. Okay? Kapag mas mataas sa 1, mas mabigat sa tubig. Kapag less than 1, mas magaan siya sa tubig. So, that is one of uh, the uh, facts that we can uh, obtain from the value of the specific gravity. Okay? So, subukan rin natin yung next problem. We have uh, this one. A body requires a force of 100 newton to accelerate it at a rate of 0.2 meter per second squared. Determine the mass of the body in kilograms and in slag. So, napakadali lang ng problem na to. Kasi nga, we will just have to involve here the formula F is equal to mass times acceleration. So anyway, anong 100 newton? 100 newton refers to the force. Okay. And then we do not know the mass. It's actually unknown. Given yung acceleration, that is 0 0.2. So therefore, the mass here can be easily obtained. So 100 divided by 0.2, that is 500. So, anong unit nito? Since we are in SI, of course, that will be in kilogram. So, we have addressed this kilogram. Ngayon, paano na na, naman natin gagawing slugs yan? At some point, merong conversion factor actually ang kilogram to that of the slugs. But I suggest that we will just stick to the direct relationship ng kilogram sa pounds. ba? So, alam naman natin na yung uh, 1 kilogram that is equal to 2.2 pounds. So, ngayon kapag kinonvert natin to, magiging um, to ah, 500 kilogram multiply natin ng conversion factor where in 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds ngayon na cancel na yan so therefore 500 times 2.2 that will be equal to 1,100 pounds ngayon ano ba yung 1 pounds na yan sa english Yan na yung force, di ba? Actually, ang pounds sa English, that is in pounds. So, ito, W. Nak, ba't ganun? Bakit ganun? Bakit from mass, kinonvert mo ng English, naging weight? So, ganun talaga yon kasi nga, the direct relationship is 1 kilogram to 2.2 pounds. 
at yung kilogram sa SI is mass. Ito, pounds. Force yan sa English. Okay? So, therefore, pag kinonvert mo yung mass sa pounds, or mass na kilogram sa pounds, magiging weight siya in terms of English units. So, dito, ang gagawin mo lang dito is just divide this by you just divide that by acceleration due to gravity. Right? Kasi nga, weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So, hence, mass here is weight all over acceleration due to gravity. So, when we do that, W here in terms of English we have 34.16 slugs. By the way, dinibide mo na. So, therefore, magiging mass. Mass na to. Okay? So, we have address the unknown the problem. Ano daw yung mass niya in terms of slugs? At ano daw yung mass niya in terms of kilograms? So, yun na. Remember, na yung kilogram, mass yon in terms of SI. Pag sa English, kinonvert mo yung kilogram sa pounds, magiging weight siya or force. Hence, if we are concerned with the mass in terms of English, dapat slug siya. Okay? So, anyway, uh, that is the connection between English and SI, yung mass hindi diretso na mako-convert into the mass of the English, magiging for siya actually. Okay, so moving on to the next problem, we have here, this one, a reservoir of carbon tetrachloride has a mass of 500 kilograms and a volume of 0 0.315 cubic meter. Find the substance or the tetrachloride's weight, mass density, specific weight, and specific gravity. So, letter A na tayo. So, actually, ganito rin gagawin natin. No? The mass is 500. Multiply mo lang yan ng 9.81 para maging newton. We have 4,905 Newton. Letter B. What is the mass density? So, similar to the first problem, mass over volume tayo. We have 500 divided by 0 0.315. We'll get um, 1,587.3. What is the unit? Kilogram per cubic meter okay okay point three one five cubic meter yung unit ng volume okay next letter c so for letter c we have gamma is equal to rho g so ito specific weight na tayo no so ganun din gamma could be obtained by just multiplying 1587.3 times acceleration due to gravity. So, therefore, gamma is equal to 15571.43 newton per cubic meter. Okay. So, parehas lang procedure sa number 1. No? So, letter D, tignan mo, libo na yan. So, therefore, uh, is identified as liquid, ano? although carbon, may carbon ka. Pero, uh, referring to the unit weight, yun nga, eh, libo na yan, so therefore, it will be classified as um, liquid. Ano? So, for letter D, specific gravity, kung gusto mo, gamitin mo yung rho, no? rho to that the rho of the standard substance, which is water. So, we have 1,587.3 
So, ang gamma or, or density ng tubig is 1,000. So, obviously, this is equal to 1.587. Okay? Again, mas mabigat siya sa tubig. Ano? Okay. So, moving on to the next problem. The weight of a body is uh, 100 pounds. Determine its weight in newtons. Its mass in kilogram. The rate of acceleration in both feet per second squared and meter per second squared if a net force of 50 pounds is applied to the body. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dito, let us focus on letter E muna. Weight in Newton, letter E. Weight in Newton. So, what is the given? The weight of the body. So, the weight of the body is 100 pounds. Ito, English yan, ano? 100 pounds. So, what can we get from 100 pounds? Uh, of course, kung gagawin mong Newton yan, da, dumaan ka muna dito sa relationship. 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So, converting 100 pounds now, 100 pounds, okay, multiply lang natin yan sa 2.2 pounds. Then 1 kilogram, hence we cancel out pounds, so magiging kilogram na siya, no? So this will give us 45.45 .45 kilograms. So ito, kapag, kapag uh, SI yan, no? Mas yan, mas, mas yung kalalabasan. So itong 45.45 .45 kilogram this is mass, no? Although from weight kinonvert mo, magiging mass siya kapag SI. Okay. So ano daw yung weight niya sa Newton? So ito na, kilogram in mass. So what we need is this formula. mg. So weight Weight um, is equal to 45.45 times 9.81. So, this will give us 445.91 Newton. So, ito yung weight niya, no? Okay, so this is the answer for letter E. Ngayon, letter B. Okay. What is its mass in kilogram? Ayun na. So, the mass in kilogram is equal to 45.45 kilograms. Right? Next, letter C. So, ano naman daw yung acceleration niya kapag in-apply natin yung 50 pounds dito? Okay? So, in here, we go back to the formula ni Newton na F is equal to mass times acceleration. This time, we do not rely on the acceleration to, due to gravity kasi nga, um, given yung force, di ba? Given yung force. So, actually, baka malito kayo, ito, itong weight na yan, force yan, pero that is the Earth's gravitational pull. Eh, dito naman, yung, yung force dito, due to the force applied na 50 pounds. So, therefore, ang gagawin natin, we just substitute that 50 newton, no? Ito, 45.45. So, acceleration yung ano. So, therefore, acceleration will be equal to uh, 50 pala, 50 pounds, 50 pounds. Hindi tayo nagtugma ng units, no? Pounds tayo dapat. So, therefore, 
I think itong 45.45 gawin muna nating slugs yan. Okay? So originally itong 45.45 na yan galing yan dito sa 100 pounds. So therefore sa English kanina W is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So meron tayong 100 pounds, no? Ang kinukuha natin mass in slugs kasi nga nasa English pala yung given na applied force. So acceleration due to gravity is 32.2 feet per second squared. We have 3.106 slugs. So mali yung ginawa natin kanina na sinubstitute natin dito kasi nga yung applied force is pounds dapat pare siya sa slugs okay so let's do it again we have 50 mass is 3.106 hence we have here the unknown acceleration so therefore a is equal to 16.1 feet per second squared so ano naman yan daw sa meters per second squared. So, all we have to do is to convert itong 16.1 feet per second squared into meters. So, the conversion factor is uh, in every 3.28 feet, there will be 1 meter. No? So, anyway, lahat yan squared. Okay. So, therefore, acceleration is equal to 16.1 divided by 3.28 squared. Okay? I'm sorry, um, second pala yung naka-squared dito, so we do not need to raise that to 2. So, this is the direct quotient, 16.1 all over 3.28. So, meron tayong 4.91 meter per second squared. Okay? So, yun. Again, uh, do not be confused on uh, linking or uh, connecting SI to the English or vice versa. Just stick to the unit na 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds at ito mass yan at ito force okay so that's about the fourth problem okay next so let us try this uh, problem the specific gravity of ethyl alcohol is 0 0.79 okay so 0 0.79 that is less than 1 ibig sabihin yung ethyl alcohol mas magaan yan sa tubig so the implication is pag mas magaan yan sa tubig lulutang yan sa tubig because it is less than 1 because the specific gravity for water is 1 okay so given yun s is equal to 0 0.79 Specific weight ang unknown. Okay. Bought in uh, pounds per cubic foot and kilonewton per cubic meter. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, S is equal to gamma, law over gamma of the standard substance. So, substitute 0.79. Okay. Ang unknown natin dito is gamma of the ethyl alcohol alcohol okay divided by gamma of the standard substance okay so therefore by cross multiplication gamma alcohol or or the ethyl alcohol is equal to 0 0.79 times standard substance is actually 9000 810. So, therefore, gamma of alcohol 
is equal to 7,749.9 newton per cubic meter. Okay? So, ano naman tong equivalent na to in terms of English or PCF? That is pounds per cubic feet. So, let us just remember yung ating conversion factor kanina. Okay? 7749.9 Multiply na lang natin yan sa Multiply by 2.2 no? Divided by 3.28 cube So this is the conversion factor from From uh, Newton per cubic meter To PCF or pounds per cubic foot So we'll come up with a unit uh, equivalent to PCF sana. Hence, we also include here 9.81. Kasi nga, ito, newton per cubic meter. So, yung newton, gagawin mong kilogram. To have a direct uh, relationship to pounds na 2.2. So, Dadaan mo na yun sa 9.81 para maging kilogram. Then multiply it by 2.2 divided by the conversion factor for feet or meter to feet. And then this is cube. So we have 49.25 PCF. Or this is pounds per cubic feet. And then as for the corresponding density ano ano density niya sa kilogram per cubic meter no una muna ito this one magiging density yan kapag iyan dinivide mo sa 9.81 so ang resulting unit is kilogram per cubic meter and that would equate to 790 kilogram per cubic meter so likewise ito this one in terms of English the density of alcohol itong 49.25 divided by ano lang yan 32.2 feet per second squared we have 1.53 slugs per cubic feet. Okay, so as simple as that. Actually, kapag alam mo na yung, ano, yung gamma, divide mo lang yan sa um, acceleration due to gravity. Whether it is English or, or SI units. And then likewise, itong gamma, kung gusto mong gawing density, yun, divide by, and then yung density to gamma. Just multiply it by acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So, next problem. So, we got this. One cubic foot of glycerin has a mass of 2.44 slugs. Find its specific weight in both pounds per cubic foot and in kilonewton per cubic meter. So, ang given dito, mass yan, ano? So, specific weight daw ang unknown. Specific weight is unknown. Okay, what do we know about specific weight? So, specific weight is weight over volume, right? No? Pwede rin na mass times acceleration due to gravity all over volume. So, therefore, we can say that gamma is equal to mg all over V, no? Kasi nga, uh, gagamit tayo ng slugs dito, mass yun, 2.44. And then, uh, acceleration due to gravity, English yan, no? Divided by uh, 1 cubic foot, so that is 1. Therefore, gamma is equal to 78.57. PCF, no? 
PCF or pounds per cubic feet. So, ano naman sa kilonewton per cubic meter? So, ang conversion factor natin, no, kanina. 78.57, no? Una muna, divide mo muna yun sa 9.81 to have a link to that of the kilogram, no? Tapos ito, 2.2. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, wait, balik ta yata tayo, no? Sige. 78.57 pounds per feet cube. So, multiply natin to ng 2.2 pounds, the conversion factor, that is equal to 1 kilogram. Okay. Next, 3.28 feet, that is cube, kasi nga cube yun, no? Divided by uh, 3.28 is 1 meter, di ba? Anyway, 1 cube, 1 cube is 1 also. So, ano mangyari dito? Cancel yung pounds. Cancel yung cubic feet. So, ang natira is gamma 78.57 times 3.28 cube so kilogram per cubic meter no yun naiwan yung gamma doon pero alam natin na yung kilogram is mass pagdating sa pagdating sa um, SI units kaya supposedly to dapat draw yan kapag um, SI units. Okay. Kasi nga yung unit kilogram per cubic meter. So, let us perform that. Rho therefore is equal to 2772.47. Uh, we still divide this by 2.2. This one. 2.2 and 2.2 okay so finally rho is 1260.21 kilogram per cubic meter so paano magiging gamma yan in terms of SI so, therefore, gamma is equal to rho g, di ba? 1,260.21 times, times mo lang yan sa 9.81. We'll come up with 12,362.7 newton per cubic meter. So, this is the gamma in terms of SI units. Okay. So, ito naman yung gamma kanina in terms of English. Okay. So, I think, uh, yun lang naman yata ang unknown dyan. Specific weight, both in kilonewton per cubic meter and PCF. Okay, next problem. A quart of water weighs about 2.08 pounds compute its mass in slugs and in kilogram so ito pounds yan no weight yan actually sa english ngayon gagamitin ko na naman tong relationship 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds so therefore Sabi natin, itong pounds na yan is actually force in terms of English. Ngayon, kapag kinonvert ko yan sa kilogram, magiging ano na yan, mass in terms of SI unit. So, unahin muna natin itong mass in slugs. So, W is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So, the weight here is actually 2. 08 
And then, mass in slugs is unknown. English tayo, no? 32.2. So, therefore, mass is equal to 0 0.06459 slugs. Okay, so that is the mass. So, ano naman yung equivalent nito sa kilograms? So, ang gagamitin natin is itong 2.08, no? 2.08 pounds. So, we know that 2.2 pounds 2.2 pounds is equivalent to 1 kilograms. Hence, kapag kilogram na yan, pag kinansel ko yan, kilogram na. Actually, ito, mas lang yan. In terms of SI units. And it will give us 0 0.945 kilograms. Okay? That's it for that problem. So, moving on to the next or the, the, la, the last set of problems here. Okay, so we have this problem. The volume of a rock is found to be 0 0.00015 cubic meter. The specific gravity is 2.6. What is its weight? So let us manipulate the formulas and the given. Okay. Ang alam natin dito is volume, no? 0.00015 cubic meter. And then we have specific gravity of 2.6. So what can we get from here? So rock is solid, di ba? Solid yung rock. So therefore, we know that the standard substance for solids and liquids is water. We have, ano to, 9,810 newton per cubic meter. Okay, so salpak mo lang yun sa formula na S is equal to gamma of the rock divided by gamma of the standard substance. So, so ito, gamma ng rock, ano? So, therefore, gamma ng rock is equal to S times gamma of the standard substance. Further, gamma of, of rock is equal to S times gamma of water. Bakit water? Standard substance ng solids is water. Okay. So, gamma of rock is equal to 2.6 times gamma of water, 9,810 newton per cubic meter, we have 25,506 newton per cubic meter. So, ngayon, out of the gamma, di ba? Gamma nga is equal to weight all over volume. So, alam na nam naman natin yung gamma. We have obtained 25,506. So, unknown yung weight natin. At given you volume, 0015. So, therefore, weight is equal to 3.83 newtons. Okay? So, that's it for that problem. Next, we have a quart of SAE 30 oil. At 68 degrees Fahrenheit weighs about 1.85 pounds. Calculate the oil specific weight, density, and then the specific gravity. Okay. So, gamma is equal to weight all over volume. So, what do we know here? Weight. Alam natin to na itong 1.85 is the weight. What else do we know? Uh, do we know its volume? No. But looking at the, f the problem carefully, given, given yung volume, which is quart. So basically here, I suggest that we 
uh, inject few more um, or few conversion factor dito. So let us have quartz, no? So for for info of everyone, one quartz is equal to zero point nine four six liters. So yeah. Ang isang quartz is equal to 0.946 liters. So, ano namang connection ng liters sa cubic meter? So, 1,000 liters, yun yung 1 cubic meter. So, these are the basic conversion factors you should know on quart. Okay. So, that from from uh, cubic meter alam naman natin na 3.28 feet that is equal to 1 meter to connect it to the English units kasi nga itong 1.85 na yan that is in terms of English so ang kinukuha lang natin dito actually is volume no so the volume is 0.946 liters or that is 1 quart no convert natin 1000 liters that is 1 cubic meter and 1 meter that is 3.28 feet Okay, so, cube na lahat yan, kasi cube yan. So, this will be cube. So, therefore, volume is equal to 0.0338 cubic feet. Considering na yung liters dyan ay makakancel, at yung cubic meter dyan is makakancel. Okay, so knowing the volume, so direct substitution na tayo, we have 1.85 all over 0 0.03338. Okay, so therefore that is 55.42 pounds per cubic feet. Okay. So now that we know our unit weight for that mass density, di ba yung density, pwede nating makuha yung density out of gamma, right? So 55.42, paano mo magagawing slugs? Bak kasi alam natin na yung unit ng density sa English is slugs per cubic feet. So, ito, pounds per cubic feet. Paano gagawing slugs yun? Just divided by 32.2 or the acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So, we have 1.72 slugs per feet. Okay. What else? We have another unknown, the specific gravity, you know, S. Specific gravity S is equal to, let's say, gamma all over gamma of the standard substance. Hence, we substitute. Aning standard substance natin dito? Water. Gamma of water is 62.34 pounds per cubic feet. Okay, so nakuha na natin to. 55.42 all over 62.34. So therefore, S is equal to 0 0.8. 
89. So, this is the specific gravity of the SAE 30 oil at 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so that's about the solution of that problem. Next, we have here a 13 gasoline weighs 46 pounds per cubic feet. So, this refers to gamma, no? What is its mass density, specific volume, and specific gravity? So, unahin muna natin yung density. So, density. Ito, pounds, gawin lang natin slugs yan. Okay, 46.5. Okay, divided by 32.2. So, that will give us 1.44 slugs per cubic feet. So, that is for the first unknown, letter E. See, the second unknown is specific volume, no? Specific volume is just the reciprocal of our density. So, therefore, 1 over rho or 1 all over 1.44, that is equal to 0.694 cubic feet per slugs. And then finally, for letter C, we have specific gravity. Perhaps we can just use gamma, no? Gamma all over the gamma of water. Okay, the standard substance for this gasoline. So we have 46.5 divided by 62.34 we have 0 0.746 again unitless to kasi makakancel lang yung unit okay so i think um, that would end our session the set of problems for the properties of fluid so i suggest that you have practice especially on the next activity that would be given to you. So thank you and have a good day everyone.